Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can use a PIR sensor module to build a little night light. Now these little PIR sensors are real cheap and readily available on eBay, Amazon, DX, all over the internet and they are extremely cheap and if you watch it detects the motion and it lights the LED now it takes a moment for it to reset and there are some settings on it and there is a duration of how long it will be active we'll put that back so you can see how long it will be active and then the other one is a delay between how long it will trigger again. And I've got them both set to the, the minimums. And that's why you see the light keeps coming on because I'm moving around. So we'll let it sit for a moment. That should be long enough. There we go. Now what this is doing is it's detecting it's not detecting light it's detecting the heat and the movement and that's how this little sensor board works and um i've only got one little led and this is actually a piranha led the super bright ones and i <coughs> excuse me i use that for this little night light project because it's really bright and this actually would put off enough light where you could easily see um, say you put it in a hallway so when you walk down the hallway and it's nighttime it turns a light on or put it in your bathroom so you know you go in there it turns the light on so you can see and you can hit your light switch or whatever and do your business but um yeah, these are neat little toys to play with. And they're super cheap. Uh, you go on eBay, you're talking like two bucks or less. Uh, Amazon, a little bit more. Deals extreme, about the same price. I think Geek even has these. Now, how I have this set up is um, I have a voltage supply. Um, I'm actually using a battery just for doing this video, but you would most likely want to plug this into your wall and just use a wall wart, um, <clears throat> about a 7 to 12 volt, anywhere in there, unless you had a 5 volt power supply, but make sure it's 5 volt. Not that it says 5 volts on it. Make sure when you put your voltmeter on it, it reads 5 volts because if you use a 5 volt power supply it's going to probably be more than 5 volts closer to 6 maybe even up to 7 so just check um, if you had a 3 volt um, wall wart that might actually come out to be just about at 5 or a little under and that would probably work with this but the way I did it is I put a 5 volt voltage regulator in here and I'm running 9 volts into it right now. And then I got my two capacitors, which go with the 5 volt regulator, and that just helps stabilize it so it works correctly. And then I'm just directly using the output of the PIR module. Now, the PIR module is powered by 5 volts, but its output is the 3.3 logic. And that worked out where I did not have to use any resistors or anything with this little piranha led and i'm guessing some of the other leds would be the same way you can see i put my hand in front of it it triggers it and oh actually i do have that off screen a little <laughs> sorry about that but uh these work awesome and this is an awesome little project and I'm going to actually be putting this in a little um, project box. And I'm going to actually mount this in my bathroom. So when I walk in there at night, it uh, turns the LED on so I can see. 
because my light switch is over to the side. So when I walk in, it just automatically detects my body heat and the movement, turns the LED on, and then I can see enough to turn the light switch on and then I can do my business. Now you could add more LEDs and actually I think my next video I'm going to do I'm going to do a video showing how you can use a relay with this. So you can control you know like you have an outdoor light and when there's motion detected it turns the light on or if you had it in your bathroom, if you walked in, you could have it set up, you know, it detects the motion, turns it on, and it actually turns the full light on. And you can set this for, uh, there's a time delay between how long before it'll trigger again, and then there, the other little potentiometer on here, there's two of them. If I remember correctly, the first one, is your time delay between how long it um, takes this one right here how long it takes before it activates again and then this one here you adjust it for how long it stays on um, if I got that wrong then just switch them around but if I remember right that's how the two of them worked and you can see it keeps going off because I'm playing with it but uh, yeah, there ain't a whole lot to this little circuit, and it um, it's actually very very useful. So if you're a beginner in electronics, this is a fun little project to play with. I mean, you're actually making something you could use. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be putting this in a little project box enclosure, and uh, I'm going to mount one of these in my bathroom. So when I walk in the door. It turns this little LED on so I can see to hit the light switch. Um, I could just set it and turn the uh, the delay up, and this would probably put off enough light. But uh, you can also run more LEDs. All you'd have to do uh, is just use a transistor and uh, then run it off. Use the output from the uh, PIR to the base of the transistor and then run run the output to control your LEDs and you could put a ton of these and that'd be enough to light a whole room up if you did enough of them or two three of them however many you think you need but um, yeah that's all there is to this um, for wiring it up this uh, module actually did not say VCC, ground, or output. I had to look it up, and I finally found a data sheet. So you can see I color-coordinated my wires. This one right here is your VCC. The middle one is the output, and this one over here is the ground. So um, if yours is like mine, that's how you hook it up. And I've seen other ones, they actually say VCC, output, and ground, but this one did not unfortunately but I looked it up figured it out and that's all there is to it so I can't really think of anything else to go over this is just a real quick tutorial I wanted to throw up on how to hook one of these up to make a little night light um, like I said I think my next video I'm gonna go over uh, how to hook up a relay to this and it's not very much different than this and then also I'm um, Thinking of making a video On how to make a camera trigger kind of like your trail cameras So you could trigger a camera to take a picture when something walks in front of it And uh, I'll probably be a couple days. I'll have them up. So make sure you subscribe All right, um well, if you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Sea Hut today. And remember, have fun building.